I'm so into it. I've had so many friends who have seen the trailer and are just beside themselves. They're ready to see this high glamour like face off. Um, and the fact that we actually love each other in real life, yes. I think, adds to that. Yeah. They want to see us like go at each other <laughs> in the 1960s in these very dramatic moments. So it's 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 a good fun. I would sit. I would be next door to Celia Foot from The Help because mm. she'd just be a good She's time. So sweet. So sweet. Oh my gosh. We would like. I would just. Yeah. She just make me laugh all the time. I want to say thank you. I would move away from Lucille Sharp. Uh, from Crimson Peak. There's probably a lot of people I'd move away from, but she would definitely be number one because I know she'd invite me to some tea parties that I would not survive from. <laughs> no, probably can't relax around her. No. Not so much. <laughs> not because I don't like her, but I would move away from Amelia Brand because that planet does not look that friendly. <laughs> um, so interest, I would move away from Interstellar. And and who I would want to be neighbors. I'm gonna stick with Christopher Nolan. I want to be neighbors with Selena Kyle. I bet she's got some great stories. Oh yeah. Don't be shy. And I feel like you'd always be safe as well. I feel like you'd, you, it, it, you would never be bored. You need to separate the grief from the guilt. What guilt, Alice? tension between these characters really raised my blood pressure and I know that you're both really good friends in real life so I was wondering how does a bond like yours help when playing these women who have such a turbulent relationship? It helps and it makes it harder it's mm -hmm. like this double-edged sword it helps because we don't need to constantly check in with each other as you would with a stranger to be like are you okay? You know, Are you mad at me? me? Yeah. yeah. Is how is this working? So that's helpful that there's trust there. It's just also really painful to be cruel to someone that you love. Mm. So that made it um, more complicated. Yeah, it's really hard to watch someone you love in pain and be playing a character who is is, is part of the reason why they're in pain. You know, like who we are as, as people, if we ever did anything to each other, we would drop everything immediately to settle it. It's just the way, you know. Yeah. Um, and it hasn't ever really happened, but I just, in my imaginary, <laughs> some imaginary future. But I also, one of the things that I wanted to say is that one of the villains of this piece is the whole concept of perfection. And the idea, and the thing that I'm so grateful for about our friendship is we can actually be real with each other. Yeah. And the thing about, you know, these women is for a time, they can be their most real selves, but they're still expected to perform. They're still expected to meet outside expectations that really care very little about their wants, needs, desires, or true selves. And so, um, yeah, so I just feel like we're very lucky that we get to have this real relationship and that they were not as lucky. No. You're the dream duo, but you realize watching this how you may never fully know a person. Not everyone is how they seem. And I imagine it's similar being in the public eye in the sense that everyone thinks that they know you. What do you think some of the biggest misconceptions about actors are? Well, maybe the, the biggest one is that they're, we could all be the same thing. Because I've worked with so many different actors or such, the way they work is different, the way they you navigate the world is different but then also that we are very much like our characters that's something that i find a lot and i play that i think that's probably why i play such different characters so often because i don't want anyone to be able to point to a character and go oh that's jessica uh, i want it to be a little bit more mysterious and i i think it's a stereotype when you watch something and just assume the actor is the character that you see in front of you I have not met a writer yet who could capture you. I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> like, you're just, you're so many things. Um, the other thing, misconception is that actors love attention. Yes, oh my God. I think that people would be surprised how often, we're actually just kind of very sensitive introverts trying not to be in <laughs> Some know? actors love attention. Absolutely. I think that my experience with people is uh, because some of my movies from my earlier career have remained popular. I, what I see is less whether or not people believe that I'm that character, but I get to see the depth of their relationship with that film. And in some cases, I'm talking to someone and they've loved a film I was in since they were like five. Mm. And it's incredibly meaningful and so sweet and touching. And so I, I don't, we don't really talk about it like that. It's usually more about just how excited we are to meet each other, I guess, finally, after all these years. <laughs> <laughs>